Bienvenidos, my worldwide metalheads. Yours truly, Jaime and Fuego for Heavy Metal Television, the world's first and only 24-7 station for over 40 years of metal videos. And we are graced with the presence of a member from the almighty Thrash Titans creator. This is Sami, one of the guitarists. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. It's wonderful to be here in Arizona. Damn right. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the weather treated you thus far? Great. Yeah. We haven't touched the Arctic blast. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't see too much of that the gravity, here. Gravity blast. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So um, you are in the midst of a tour that has been at least like talked of for a great long while with uh, Arch Enemy, and you also have Huntress on board. Uh, yeah, we started in, in uh, Japan, Loud Park, like October. Okay. And then we went to Colombia, and now we're doing the uh, States for a month. And then, then after that, we go to Europe. Oh, so Europe is after that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And, I get to go home for 20 hours. Yes, because you're not from, from Germany, right? I'm from Finland. Yeah. You're from Finland. Okay, Helsinki. excellent. Another wonderful nation for metal, you know? It's, it's such a ferocity. I mean, in name off bands, you know, continually. Excellent. Yeah, yeah of course. But then, then that European tour goes uh, one or two Christmas. So, so it's kind of two months on the road now, okay. but it's great. Enjoying it. Good, good, good time. Good chemistry amongst the bands, com camaraderie. Absolutely. Because I'm, you know, guys or from a long time actually it was on that album uh, End of Your God that we did we had Michael yes. Amot play a solo there as a guest yes. and uh, that's funny you mentioned that record because I remember 10 years ago I was a 20 year old kid still discovering a lot of metal and I heard the opening track which was the title track for Enemy of God that was my first foray into experiencing creator oh, really? and everything that they really? were but obviously they had been around since the early 80s and they were yes, part of a yes. movement that included Sodom destruction I exactly. mean yeah. there was a it was almost like a slightly blackened version of speed metal that they were playing initially mm -hmm. I know there was a lot of 90s experimentation exactly. slowing down the tempo yeah. things like that but you uh, know your creator obviously. yeah <laughs> yeah well the, the the resurgence of the thrash sound was what really turned me on to them and uh, so yeah it's been been exciting to see you know just the approach continue and yeah. stuff like that um were you joining them and so if you joined in 2001 as you mentioned to me right before we started this interview you were there when the sound was about to kind of take a step back to what they were at least originally doing correct back to the roots yeah <laughs> back to the roots you know get it, yeah. it, it, well not entirely but i guess it would be a little bit wrong to say back to the roots but yeah but yeah but that was that was that album that revolution yeah that, mm -hmm. was, that was 2000 or 2001 but back then, I uh, basically went straight to the studio. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, so they're just that, like, we're going to throw you right in there, and <laughs> exactly. sink or swim, see what happens? Exactly. been around for a, a great number of years when you first you know joined the group they were you know kind of re-establishing an older sound and enhancing it giving it a fresh spin a little bit yeah it was, it was a, I don't know it was too much too well planned that it should be like that back then but yeah it was just behind uh, before that <laughs> there were two albums called the outcast and then mm -hmm. Roma. They, they were more experimental but the, yeah the you know, tempo band, was yeah, slower yeah, yeah, it was more yeah, of a moody you know, gothic yeah, kind yeah, of approach yeah, exactly and, but, but yeah. when a band has been around as long as already back then yeah it's very healthy to experiment absolutely how many other thrash bands of the <laughs> 80s did the same thing you know megadeth and various mm -hmm. others slowed down the tempo to a degree in the 90s and you don't want to be a one-trick pony i guess and do the same thing over and over you that, know that's the thing but i kind of think that after after i joined and, and then the, after violent revolution the albums i think we kind of found also our own sound what yeah. we're strong at and what we can do best so maybe maybe something like that happened there around there too. Working to your strengths or, though. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Excellent. So um, as far as recent news goes, um, besides the record, which has been out for about two years now, mm -hmm. which is Phantom. 
Christ, good stuff. Um, there is the English translation of the story of Creator that just came to North American audiences this year, correct? The book? The book, book, exactly, ah. the book. Oh, yes. that, that was written by a guy called Hilmar Bender. Yeah, it, is, it was it, just it, translated into English earlier this year from the yes, research Yes, yes, but there's, there's actually another one coming. Mm, <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No. Delving a little deeper into uh, the subject, I yeah, suppose? Yeah, 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 I mean, I mean... Uh, uh, I didn't read the English translation yet, no. which actually would be which easy. we will not fault you for. Well, no, 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 it would be easier for me actually than the German. I, mm. I, I read German also, but, yeah. but, but uh, the, the I think the book gets a little bit stuck on on, on wrong, wrong kinds of things. I mean, it's, mm. it's entertaining. Oh no, yeah, nevertheless, nevertheless. as it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but uh, Miller was, uh, has hired this other guy to make another one. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, might as well if it can be more more thorough and detailed yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know focus upon you know what what they feel is exactly. is more important. So. Excellent. So next year is the thirtieth anniversary of Endless Pain. <laughs> yes, the, the, the group's debut. Um, are there any plans to, you know, do anything related to that record, or is there just the sole focus upon getting a brand new creator record out? How are the creative juices flowing to the well, right well, now? Well, the sole focus might be more on, on, on concentrating a new album, yeah. because, because we're not so much, not too nostalgic uh, kind of people. Which we're lots of bands of like to do. We'll play it in its entirety, the old record. That's yeah, kind I, of a I, thing I, with I, metal I, bands I, right I, now. I, I don't think it's for us, I, somehow, you know. The charm of endless pain, I think, for me, is that it's kind of a you know you got to understand that these guys were 15 or 16. Oh yeah, they weren't they even 20 it. years old and they had a record deal. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and the charm for me for an album like Endless Pain is that, that it, it's not so very well played, yeah. but it still has very much energy and then like yeah. whatever hates or whatever, yeah. you wanna, whatever you want to call it. And that's the so youthful vigor. It, that's it, what is, which exactly, is, yeah. and that's the charm of that album. So if we would play it now, I think. Wait, too well. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Excellent. You don't get the idea, right? Yes, absolutely. So the idea is for Creator to keep their eyes straight ahead, and uh, we want you as viewers of the station to keep your eyes straight ahead on our station because we are about to play a video from Creator. It will in all likelihood be Phantom Antichrist, which is from their album that came out two years ago. We urge all of you viewers to check it out. And I say gracias being Jaime in Fuego, danke for the German fans, and I thank you so much for, for speaking to us today, Sammy. It was excellent to meet you and to show you to our audiences. So, thanks, thanks. Absolutely. Thanks.